Welcome to Great Chefs of the World, a culinary survey featuring premier chefs from around the globe. The appetizer course this time comes from Rouen, France. Michel Tragra presents a simple but effective mussel starter using a broth from braised vegetables. Then it's off to Salzburg, Austria, where Chef Gerno Hika demonstrates what are called napkin dumplings. Bread, egg, and other ingredients are poached in the napkin. Dessert is presented in London. Eric de Blonde offers packets of mango slices, caramelized banana, and mint leaves, wrapped in the phyllo-like brick dough, then browned. Michel Tragras' famous name obviously provided an entree for him early on. He worked variously at Ferdi Giraudet in Switzerland, Roger Verger and Alain Chapelle in France, and even Chez Panisse in San Francisco. From Maison Tragras in Rouen, he offers a mussel appetizer. The chef begins by prepping vegetables for a broth, carrot, green onion. Vous voyez que je change à chaque fois de couteau parce que chaque couteau a une utilisation particulière. Note the interesting way that the chef purees garlic. Yellow and red bell pepper, which he peels. The peppers are julienned and finely diced. Sprigs of thyme and a bay leaf are added, and the vegetables are softened in olive oil. Deux branches de thym, une feuille de laurier. Suffisamment d'huile d'olive dans une casserole pour nous permettre. de suer la garniture. Pendant ce temps, j'aurai nettoyé les moules sous l'eau courante. Et nous allons cuire les moules avec le vin blanc. The mussels were cleaned and debearded. Voilà, Then white wine is added. Donc également sur le feu avec un couvercle. They are covered and steamed until they open. A little more olive oil is added to the veggies. Voyez, j'ai été un peu fébrile sur l'huile d'olive. Je vais rajouter un petit peu d'huile d'olive. While the mussels cook, they should be stirred. Then more ingredients are added to the vegetables. Ma garniture auquel je vais ajouter tomato paste concentré le vinaigre de Xerès cherry vinegar voilà comme ceci quelques gouttes de tabasco et voilà Délaye bien la tomate concentrée dans la casserole. Et on continue la cuisson. Je 
débarrasser mes moules. Et je filtre le jus de la cuisson à travers un chinois sur ma garniture. After the muscle juice is poured into the vegetables, the liquid is reduced by half. Voilà. Dans l'assiette. Alors là, c'est un travail de patience, mais on a tout le temps puisque c'est un plat froid. The presentation is not complicated, but time-consuming, with concentric rings of mussels on the plate. The chef says since they serve the dish cold, it's not a problem. Chopped fresh tarragon is sprinkled over the mussels. Then the vegetables in the broth are strained and also sprinkled onto the dish. Là, terminé avec un mixeur. Olive oil is added to the broth, then it's processed with a hand blender. Vous voyez que la cuisine est une foule de petits détails comme ça. très généreux hein, sur la He says it should be eaten cold, especially in the summer with its spicy flavor. But you can eat it warm too. He just prefers it cold. Mais on peut aussi le manger chaud, mais pour ma part, je préfère froid. The Goldener Hirsch Hotel in Salzburg dates back to the early 1400s. It's reported that today, two-thirds of the fame relates directly to the hotel's restaurant and catering service. The chef is Gernot Hika, who worked his way up to head chef. His entree is saddled of venison with dumplings. Beginning with the dumplings, Chef Hika adds salt, pepper, and fresh nutmeg to milk over heat. Pfeffer aus der Mühle und Muskatnuss würzen. Wenn die Milch aufkocht, den Grieß einrühren. Semolina is added when the milk has reached a boil. Flour is added. The dumpling batter is removed from the heat. The chef continues to whisk. Butter, which has been creamed with two egg yolks, is added. Unter die Masse mischen. Jetzt das geröstete Toastbrot. 
einmischen. Toasted cubed white bread is combined with the batter. This next step falls under the category of things mother told you not to do with the family linen. The dough is placed on a moistened cloth napkin and shaped. The ends of the napkin are tied with twine. The dumpling is boiled in salt water for 30 minutes. The second side dish is red cabbage, which Chef Hika begins by caramelizing onions in melted sugar and butter. Then zucker dazu. The zwiebel. Leicht anschwitzen. Red wine and apple juice are added. Und mit Rotwein. Und Apfelsaft. Aufgießen. Dazugeben. Red cabbage is added. The cabbage has been steeped overnight in a marinade of sugar, salt, caraway, orange and lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, and grated apple. Salt, pepper, and caraway are added. The cabbage is then simmered. Chef Hika begins the long-awaited main course by seasoning a venison saddle with what he calls game seasoning, a blend of salt, pepper, rosemary, bay leaves, juniper berries, and thyme. The venison is then sautéed in butter and oil. Anbraten. White and morel mushrooms are sautéed in butter and seasoned with salt and pepper. Den Hirsch rücken, in die Soße, in die vorbereitete Wildsoße geben. The sautéed venison is placed in venison stock, where it is stewed for about five minutes. The meat is turned several times to ensure that it is cooked evenly. Whipping cream is added to the mushrooms. Aufschneiden. Sehr heiß.
den Hirschrücken. Das Brett geben. Diagonal durchschneiden. Schön rosa. Auf dem Teller anrichten. Servettenknödel dazugeben. Rotkraut. The red cabbage will be garnished with diced apple. Sie auf den hier schrücken geben. The mushrooms are spooned onto the venison and topped with hollandaise sauce. Und mit Sauce Hollandaise. Gasflemmer. Chef Hika gratinates the venison and then drizzles the venison sauce to complete presentation. Das Petersilie noch garnieren. Und die Wacholderrahmsauce napieren. Voilà. The executive chef at the fancy Four Seasons Hotel in London is Eric de Blonde. He oversees some 50 chefs who provide the full range of hotel services for the 220-room property. Like many chefs today, he offers healthy eating and vegetarian options on the menu. His dessert is croustillants of mango and banana. So this recipe, I bring this idea when I was in Kenya. Because in Kenya, I find some beautiful mango and banana. So it's a croustillant of mango and banana wrapped in a feuille de brick and I use uh, some mint as well. Cut in two. Ah, use another one. I like banana, so. So by person, I think six pieces is nice of banana. Some sugar to caramelize. To do a caramel, you can see very quick caramels coming. And we caramelize the banana in the caramel. Just very quick, nice brown color. Voilà. When it's caramelized, take out of the pan. And cool down a little bit. I use, for to do the sauce, a little bit of rum. and some orange juice. A bit more orange juice. Voilà. And we cook very, very slowly. A peeled mango is cut. And I use some mint, tiny pieces of mint. So on each piece of banana, a tiny piece of mint, not too much, for, just for the taste. And after, on the top, on the mango, the banana, the mango. These packets will be wrapped with a strip of brick dough, which is very similar to phyllo. Like this. I need one more. 
Do you add it a bit of uh, champagne? Like this. You see, you have a nice sauce with the champagne give. Now the brick dough strips. So take a banana and just like this is enough. With the further brick, we need to be careful because you can see this one starting to be dry. With further brick, we need to work very, very fast. If not, we need to keep between uh, paper or in a, use a wet oven cloth. Okay, so when this is done, or you pan fried, or you can roast in the oven. I prefer pan fried because it's more crispy, it's nicer. So I'm just going to seal the banana. You have a nice uh, brown color. The sauce was strained before presentation. Uh, for this recipe, recipe, you can use uh, vanilla ice cream or any sorbet, mango sorbet. So I use vanilla ice cream, go very well with banana. I use some dry. Dry mango. And I finish with a bit of mint. A croustillant of a banana and mango.